Due to the graphic nature of this program, viewer discretion is advised. Oh, back off! Back off! We're right above him now. This guy is flying. He's got a gun! Come out with your hands up or we'll turn the door loose! What you see in the next hour will be alarming. He's fishtailing. Get your hands up! Tonight on World's Scariest Police Chases, we will show you real pursuits shot while they actually happen. Just break, just break. TC, TC. These terrifying chases come from the video on police cars, as well as from news cameras and police helicopters in pursuit. Much of this footage has never been seen before. The police offer this tape as a wake-up call. For some, a final notice, a chance to think before it's too late. I wasn't worried about wrecking. We will show you heart-thumping pursuits from Buffalo to Bakersfield. From England to East LA. And he's crashed. An all new version. Man, he's out running me. We will bring you the most reckless, the most deadly. He's got a gun. Shots fired. As well as some of the strangest and most unusual chases ever caught on tape. This is a warning. What we show you tonight Dispatch, we need an ambulance out here. may just save your life. It's a wild ride. I'm Sheriff John Bunnell. I've been involved in a lot of pursuits myself, and I've visited police agencies across the country and around the world because I wanted to learn firsthand who runs, why they run, and what we can do to stop them. So tighten your seatbelt. This is going to be a wild ride. Great Britain, two kids in a stolen Peugeot race through roadways and roundabouts. Local officers are right behind them. Overhead, a helicopter with heat-sensitive radar turns night into day as it tracks the pursuit. Knowing they're caught, the kids start to panic. Speed's now 69 miles an hour. What you're about to see is very graphic. They decide to run a red light, and it happens. They miss the first car by inches, and they almost make it. Fearing the worst, the officers run to the wreckage. Unbelievably, the teenagers walk away with just a few scrapes. This time, they were very, very lucky. San Diego, California. Here we get a chance to see a high-speed pursuit from inside a San Diego police helicopter. We're involved in a chase, trying to catch up to it. And he is high speed. This chase began when the police spotted a suspicious car near a local high school. This guy's passing all kinds of people on the wrong side of the road. He's hauling. This is the actual police radio transmission. Notice the helicopter pilot's reaction as the suspect hits a van on this narrow road. Holy smokes! Man, this guy is driving like a total idiot. In San Diego, they have a problem most cities don't. The suspect knows that if he can get across the border into Mexico, the police the can't follow him. Uh, speed is about 90 to 100. He's uh, taking the last U.S. exit. He's gonna run. If he runs, Kevin, I'm gonna put this thing down. Holy, he almost hit that construction guy. He's gonna bail and go over the fence. I know. He's gonna run across the fence here. Yeah, he's going to Mexico. Hang on, watch the cranes. I got the cranes. The cranes are gonna get me in the way here. I'm climbing. Before they could land, the suspect got over the fence and across the border. Gable, he is in Mexico. Hispanic male, white t-shirt, black pants, white tennis shoes. This is one of those times the bad guy got away, but he left something behind. Hidden in the undercarriage of the car, they found three pounds of cocaine with a street value of $150,000. His drug dealing friends in Mexico may make him wish that he had been caught in the USA. Sometimes you can add a kid, a car, and recklessness. That equals disaster. Kids get out in cars, they think they're bulletproof, they think they're like Superman. Morning rush hour, San Antonio, Texas. A 16-year-old boy picks up his girlfriend and two others at a nice private school. But the car is stolen. Five, one, be advised, be advised, northbound through the parking lot, the uh, jack in the box now. And the passengers find themselves at the mercy of a teenage driver who just won't stop. It begins when this officer is nearly run over. He must have panicked knowing that his vehicle was stolen and I was in front of the vehicle and I had to jump and get out of his way. Up ahead, he sees a shortcut, but he doesn't let an intersection get in the way. 
he blows to the stop sign, cuts off traffic, and launches his car into a field. Westbound, westbound, down the dirt road. With all four wheels in the air, this kid is punishing his car relentlessly. Another stop sign ahead? No problem. He simply cuts off the slinkin, fishtails through the smoke, regains control. Near TC, near TC, almost wrecked. And he's off again. When he sees an obstacle like a traffic light, he doesn't go around it. He goes through it. He flies through this red light, almost hitting a pedestrian and swerving to avoid a van. If he gets on the freeway, he has a real chance of losing the cops. There's just one problem. It's rush hour there, too. Entering the freeway at this time, we're northbound. He's determined to find a way out. He enters a construction zone in the median. A door opens. Somebody tries to bail, but it's just too dangerous. His terrified passengers have no choice but to ride this one out to the finish. Stop your now! Stop your car now! What happens next shows the kind of friend this boy really is. He tries off-roading again, but soon loses control and spins out. Then, to the amazement of everybody, he actually jumps from the car, leaving his panicked friends to fend for themselves. Okay, car still rolling. Somebody stop that car. The boy doesn't get far. Five one suspect in custody. Code four. Code four. Suspect is in custody. The sad part is, this 16-year-old had only been released from the Texas Youth Commission five days earlier. This time, they want to try him as an adult because any one of these moments could have resulted in a serious injury or death. But just try telling that to a young kid in a fast car who thinks the rules don't apply to him. Right now, his days as a free teenager are over. And as for the pursuing officers, before this chase began, they were on their way to a training class to learn how to drive in hot pursuits. San Diego. A bank robbery suspect races to the Mexican border. He knows if he can make it across, the California cops will call off their pursuit. We're less than a mile away from the border. The police, are, they're going to have to do something soon. Police lay down spike strips, hoping to puncture his tires. It works, but this guy isn't stopping. With no tires on his left side, he presses on, riding on the rims. This suspect is going to try and get across this border any way he can. With freedom only 100 yards away, he's forced to slow down because of traffic. The cops take advantage and move into place. The suspect has nowhere to go. He's getting very close. He could be getting ready to make a run for it. He reaches back into his car for something. He knows he's surrounded and quickly tosses a gun into the road. OK, the police have just lo let loose the canine unit uh, onto the scene here. Not knowing if the man has another weapon, the police send the dog in first. At this point, any suspect would welcome arrest. The dog is not letting go. It will not get off his arm. The suspect is down, and he's not going anywhere. The police soon realize that they're not dealing with their typical robbery suspect. Yeah, I'll call him in. About what? About, what about the doing? conspiracy. Conspiracy about what? David, well, his name is yes, I got documents and everything in the car. This man was judged incompetent to stand trial. But right now, he's probably just happy to get away from this police dog. Henry County, Georgia. A stolen black Beretta plays a daring game of cat and mouse with officers in hot pursuit. Okay, we're getting off. We're getting off to 73 now. 10 for exit 73. The driver races up the exit ramp toward a busy intersection. Up ahead, a stop sign. He's not slowing down. But he doesn't just run it. He runs over it. He sees two trucks coming. He slams on his brakes to avoid crashing into them. And he's still going. Knowing the kind of danger this guy poses if he gets back on the freeway, the officer has to act fast. All the vehicle over now. He teeters on the edge of losing it, fishtailing desperately, trying to stay in control. Then incredibly, he speeds off again, cutting around a slow-moving truck on the shoulder. He's getting back on. He's double backing onto the 75. Yes, the pursuit's back on to 75 now. In another insanely dangerous move, he shoots over three lanes of traffic and heads towards the exit. He passes another truck on the shoulder, narrowly missing the pole and jumps back on the freeway at the last second. At 90 miles an hour, he tries the shoulder again. But when a stalled car blocks his path, he goes off-road. At these speeds, not even the soft Georgia clay can slow this guy down. Approaching Atlanta city limits. The freeway traffic is thick now, and police want this to end before he gets into the city. Now watch the right side of your screen. 
When the officers tried to box him in safely, the Beretta jumps over two lanes, strikes another car, and spins out in the smoke. Whoa, there he goes, 41, code 41. Oh, yes, in pursuit, we have a code 41. The suspect was taken to an area hospital for minor injuries. Coming up on World's Scariest Police Chases. The world's finest go after the world's fastest. In the most frightening chases ever seen, 150 plus through the Arizona desert. He's fishtailing. Blazing down the streets of LA and bumper cars on the back roads of Georgia. It's nonstop action. It's wild in the streets. It's world's scariest police chases. How do you stop a 13-ton truck, slipping and sliding, bumping and battering? These suspects are so reckless, they've turned police pursuits into a dance with death. McDonough, Georgia, with suicidal recklessness, two suspected drug dealers in a black Chevy barrel down this two-lane country blacktop. Head your way, head your way, let's block them in, let's block them in. A squad car in front tries to keep him from passing as another officer comes up on the left. Okay, let's shut him down right here, right here, let's shut him down. The suspect fakes right and seeing daylight suddenly shoots between them. A large police van blocks the road up ahead. But once again, the suspect quickly darts around the officer, almost hitting these waiting cars. Down the road, the officers try to block them in again. But this time, the suspects simply pull off the road and double back through the open field. By the time the cops have turned around, the suspects are way behind them, with a real chance of getting away. But here comes a police van, so they circle back into the field. Okay, they're going in circles now. Coming back around the road. Here they come, here they come. Hold them, hold them right there. Incredibly, they've done it again. By now, the police have had enough. A unit quickly catches up to the suspects. The officer comes right up to his rear bumper. Now watch the driver carefully. He actually takes his hands from the wheel. A big mistake at 80 miles an hour, because suddenly he loses control. Skids off the road, then crashes. OK, just wreck, just wreck, TC, TC. From the car behind, we see the Chevy start to fishtail. It careens right and then left. It hits an embankment, flipping over and over. Debris flies everywhere. And then just like that, this chase has ended. With this awesome crash, the driver and his passenger managed to pull off yet another incredible escape. This time from the Grim Reaper. The driver got a year in jail and five on probation. If he's smart, he'll take another driver's ed class. Dallas, Texas. The man driving this Cadillac has good reason to be going fast. He just robbed his second bank in an hour. With over $200,000 in his car, he barrels down this road at 100 miles an hour. We're, we're south on toll, we're approaching Northwest Dallas. He speeds on with reckless confidence, but he's forgetting one thing, the Dallas toll gates. He's approaching the uh, toll gates here, and I estimate that uh, he's going to be there within a couple of minutes. He weaves wildly toward the toll gates, not even bothering to slow down. He tries to squeeze through, and it happens. I looked in my rearview mirror and saw this red Cadillac, and he was coming, Lord, it looked like 100 miles an hour. But it wasn't over yet. Get your hands up, I said! The police had been waiting there the whole time. Immediately, the suspect begins waving a gun, taunting the officers to shoot him. Got the suspect holding him at bay at close range. Then surprisingly, he tosses his gun to the officers. They're rushing in. In his car, police find another gun and over $200,000. And who was this vicious bank robber? This modern day Jesse James who eluded the police over a two week crime spree. This man, the product of a nice suburban home who claimed he read a book about robbing banks. Now he'll have 25 years to think about all the mistakes he made, including the decision to run from the law. The entire time a chase is going on, you're going through your options in your mind. How can I make this stop? And ultimately, Sometimes you have to stop by deadly force. Captain Craig Peavy gets a call to intercept this fleeing car before it gets to the freeway. Hey, not slowing down. Watch as this car literally goes flying. Hey, get one airborne. All right. But 
Captain Peavy knows that another officer is going to stop him at the next intersection. Coming by you now. Coming up on you fast. But he doesn't even slow down. The trooper tries to force him to pull over. Obviously, this car isn't going to cooperate. The guy's going crazy. Peavy decides that if anyone is going to take responsibility for ramming this car, it's going to be him. When you hit a car like this, it usually takes only one thump to get the message across. You don't get killed, boy. When they still don't stop, you know you have a problem. You're going to have to end it, and sometimes the only way is the hard way. Captain Peavy moves in fast. This bump isn't going to be a warning. So the car that wouldn't stop is finally stopped. And this driver isn't going anywhere for the next six months. Great Britain. A light snow has left these English roads icy and treacherous. But this car thief doesn't care. He goes right onto the slick shoulder to try to get past this roadblock. It works. Overconfident, he accelerates on a slippery curve. Not a good idea. Now the driver is trapped. Panicking, he kicks out the window, making it much easier for the police to drag him from the vehicle. It'll be four years before this chap can drive again in any conditions. A factory perfect Corvette streaks through the Arizona desert at 165 miles an hour. This car has been reported stolen and so far has outrun the DPS officers for a good 30 miles. This car is built for one thing, speed. And with no police ahead of him, this suspect has a real chance of outrunning the cops behind him. He'll have some work cut out for him up ahead here. There are several big rigs in a row that he's going to have to negotiate somehow. He's passing the first on the right shoulder. Very dangerous maneuvers at, at these speeds. He's fishtailing. Oh, there he goes. He's OK, he's hit. He's hit. This car has shattered into a 1,000 pieces. Smashing into the rear of the truck, the car disintegrates, and the suspect is thrown from the wreckage. He skids along the desert floor, literally flying by the seat of his pants. He's moving. The suspect is sitting up. He's sitting up. He's still alive. Incredibly, this driver is still alive. He's on his stomach now. Uh, he's waiting for the police, uh, but still, the cops are not taking any chances. This could be the luckiest man in the world. 165 miles an hour, no seat belt, smashes into a truck, and not a scratch on him. This Corvette is a total wreck. It's not going anywhere. In fact, the only thing moving are the windshield wipers. Yeah, I've been chased by the cops before. I wasn't worried about wrecking. I was actually the least of my worries at the time. I just, I kept on thinking I could get away, and if I was just trying to get back in the city, I could get back in the city, I thought I could get away. I wasn't thinking about the consequences. Palm Bay, Florida. Police pull over a minivan that's been reported stolen. Two different dash cams capture the action as the driver obediently pulls into this gas station and starts to get out. Suddenly, he gets second thoughts about cooperating. And off they race into the sweltering night. 61033 traffic in pursuit. Suddenly the van starts to swerve. Just about lost it, still eastbound. He's looking for a place to ditch the vehicle and run. He keeps slamming on the brakes and trying to pull off the road. Hold on. So strong. Up ahead, the driver sees a roadblock. He goes straight for it. But at the last second, he cuts back and starts to spin out. Okay, we got them, we got them. They're down in the ditch. Okay, come out with your hands up or we'll turn the dog loose now! Faced with a threat like that, the man quickly surrendered. He got four years. Next on World's Scariest Police Chases. In your way, let's block them in. Innocent lives at risk. The police are storming the bus. Shots fired. A drunk barrels through a school zone. A $100,000 Carrera plays chicken on the highway and a good guy goes bad. The stakes are high. He's got a gun. 
The danger is real. The chase is on. Killers on the road. These are the dangerous ones. This man is absolutely fearless. The ones with nothing to lose. Shots fired, shots fired. And they're sharing the road with you. When you're in a pursuit, you're using all your secrets, you're using all your techniques. The scary thing comes when all of a sudden, nothing's working. Warren, Michigan. Police can hardly keep up with the bank robbery suspect in this white truck. We're going westbound on the side street. He outwheels and outmaneuvers them at every turn. This guy drives too good to be an ordinary bank robber. Okay, we're having a dead end here. He's armed, dangerous, and so far unstoppable. He's also got a secret. He's a cop. An off-duty police officer from a nearby town who doesn't respond to ramming. They barely put a dent in him, and he's gone, tearing down these suburban streets, taking chances an untrained driver never would. He nearly misses getting T-boned when he runs another stop sign. Here, the police try to box him in, but he suddenly sideswipes one of their units, knocking an officer clean off the road. The officer comes right back, but still he races away. It's not supposed to be this way. The bad guy shouldn't know everything that good guys do about police pursuits. But this one does. Waiting for the last possible second, he darts back on the freeway. The lead cop has no choice but to exit. Moments later, he nearly loses it when he wildly cuts in front of this big rig to exit. Back on the surface streets, the officers are determined to end this chase as quickly as possible. Pedal to the floor, they catch up with him. Others join them. Risking his life, an officer tries bumping the huge truck from the side. It works. The truck hits a fence, a signpost, and suddenly it's all over. Get your hands up! Step out of the vehicle and get your hands up! Once he was a good cop, sworn to protect the laws and serve the people of this state. Now he's facing the possibility of spending the rest of his life with men who hate cops and don't care whether they were good or bad. Here we are in Thames, England, as the quiet solitude of this peaceful countryside is shattered by the wail of sirens. All we know is that this car was stolen in Swindon and is now about 40 kilometers from London. This $100,000 Porsche Carrera convertible is flying through these curves on a collision course with disaster. This man is absolutely fearless. He's driving like a race car driver, not slowing down. In England, car theft is a serious crime, and the man knows that several years of his life are riding on his speed and skill. Right now, the Metropolitan Police seems to be quite a ways behind and falling back. They, they can't begin to keep... Oh, look at that! He's passing these cars within inches. But then he got desperate and made a mistake. A very big mistake. Now he's passing that car, but there's a truck blocking his... Oh, my God! At first, everything stops. A deadly silence. There is no movement from inside the car. You wonder how someone could survive hitting a truck at this speed, smashing directly into the driver's side door. The truck driver is, is going back to the car now. They peel back the convertible top. He's alive, but trapped under the steering wheel. This man will now go to a British prison to think about the one thing so many speeders forget. No matter how fast your car is, you can't control the people in front of you. Clayton County, Georgia. When the cops try to stop two wanted felons in a stolen IROC Z, they get an unexpected response. The passenger waves a friendly howdy. The officers give a little howdy of their own. The waving stops, but not the car. All units be advised, they're passing Terrell Road. A traffic jam sends them slogging through the mud. And the traffic on the, on the right. They come out the other side, slipping and sliding, only to find they've run out of road. Stand by, he's at the intersection trying to get in. How can they have him boxed in? They take him into custody. Their two-week crime spree is over. These guys will find it awfully hard to wave with handcuffs on. When you get into a pursuit, you don't know how it's going to end, why it's going to end, or where it's going to end. And believe me, sometimes it can take a bizarre turn. 
Dallas, Texas. A bank robbery suspect is on the run. Uh, so far, we know that he's held up a teller at gunpoint. Uh, he's getting off at Webb Chapel now, coming to a stop along the service road here. The police are right on his bumper. Uh, right there, you can see an officer crouched with her weapon drawn. The suspect, he's got a gun. Shots fired. Shots fired. The suspect, the suspect is down. Suspect is down. When the suspect threatens to kill her partner, the female officer fires instinctively. The suspect is not moving. He is not moving. Officer is approaching the vehicle very carefully now, very cautious. There's no such thing as a typical pursuit. Each has the potential to end as quickly and brutally as this one did. What cameras do when they're in the police car is actually put the judge or the jury in the right front passenger seat of that police car. It's they're actually getting to see what the policeman sees as it unfolds. Bronson, Florida. It's the middle of the day when Officer Mike Lofton spots this drunk driver going through a stop sign. 51 Rimper set uh, possible signal one coming to the school zone this time. High risk speed. At the edge of town, the chase speeds up. 51 is still in pursuit. Uh, we're still eastbound. In, in the 90 miles an hour, she's driving all over the road. Uh, very erratic driving. Officer Lofton didn't know it at the time, but this woman has had 18 prior DUIs. She's not slowing down. We're still in pursuit. She's not yielding. The woman is weaving from one side of the highway to the other forcing cars off the road. This is how innocent people get killed. Well, she's definitely single one. She's all over the road. At 110 miles an hour, the combination of booze and high speed becomes lethal. The car begins to wobble from one side of the lane to the other. She's losing it. She's losing it. It hits the shoulder again. Then she shoots off the road, smashing through a fence. The car rolls over and over and finally miraculously lands crumpled, but upright. Five, one, she's 15 feet. We need an ambulance out here. Get me some medics. Officer Lofton runs to the car. The woman is unconscious. On the floor next to her, a bottle of gin. Unless somebody has gotten hurt in a DWI, it's kind of no harm, no foul. But in actuality, DWI kills more people than all the other criminal homicides put together. This woman had a blood alcohol level of .44. She is now serving five years in prison for her 19th DUI. There he is. He's running. Coming up on world's scariest police chases. Out of control. He's just crashed. The car's rolled over. He's on the roof. Out of the way. Where did this road come out at? And outrageously out of his mind. These are the wildest. He's crashed. He's rigged. The wettest and the most whacked out chases of all time. Be there. roller coaster continues over Georgia blacktop and the Hollywood freeway chugging through the Chattanooga mud barreling toward oblivion and nothing will stop it until the bad guys bite the dust one of the strangest chases I've heard of is where the police are trying to stop a man who's determined to get to his girlfriend's house Shelby Township Michigan after spotting a van with expired tags, an officer attempts a routine traffic stop. But this driver has other ideas. He leads the officer to a nearby neighborhood where he takes the opportunity to pay a little visit to his ex-girlfriend. Fortunately, his ex was in another room when he decided to stop in. Hollywood, California, owes 700 hours. A desperate suspect hurdles towards Sunset Boulevard in a stolen van. Be advised, several units on the scene. West Hollywood Sheriff's LAPD. We're right above him now, coming up on the Melrose exit here. This guy is flying. He's got to be doing 90 at least. There's a lot of traffic around. OK, it looks like he's completely boxed in now. No room to maneuver. The police are right behind him, a black and white. Wait, he's pushing through. He's pushing through. It's every motorist's worst nightmare. Morning rush hour, and you're followed by an oversized vehicle driven by a maniac with nothing to lose. He's just clipped the bumper of that blue car. OK, as you can see, there's been a lot of damage to that vehicle. He has one chance to lose the police. He heads for the nearest exit. He's getting off the freeway now. Oh, he just sideswiped that truck. This guy will not be stopped. He's not slowing down for this red light. It appears he'll be trying to get, oh, and he's crashed. He's crashed. He sideswiped another truck. The chase is probably over now. No, no. He's still going. He's pulling over. 
He's running. He's out. He's out of the vehicle. Suspect is running. Foot pursuit. I'm in foot pursuit. There are lots of places for this guy to hide from police. The cops on the ground scour the area, working with the police helicopters that circles overhead. This guy doesn't have a chance. Within minutes, they find him, cowering in the bushes. There he is. The suspect is in custody at this time. This pursuit is officially over. This man's learned the hard way. In Hollywood, bad guys don't get away. And there's no happy ending for car thieves. Pursuits are frightening, but they get even more frightening when you're alone, you don't know where you are, and you don't know where your friends are. 51, I'm attempting to stop a vehicle. Chattanooga, Tennessee, a miserable rainy afternoon. Officer James Jackson is in pursuit of what appears to be a drunk driver. OK, at this time, we've turned off onto some back road, the first back road to the right. But these aren't ordinary back roads. This is dangerous territory, the land of homemade stills and shotgun justice. To make matters worse, Officer Jackson realizes that he doesn't know any of the roads in this out-of-the-way area. OK, 51 at this time. Looks like we're heading down into a quarry. I can't really see that well. Officer Jackson is getting nervous about his backup, even finding him in here. OK, 51, he's trying to get me back here on this mud and get me stuck. The suspects lead the officer farther and farther into the swampy forest. Okay, where did this road come out at? The truck is throwing back mud. At times, it's almost impossible to see. Suddenly, both vehicles are in danger of getting stuck. 51 Everything OK? This chase is about to come to an end, but Officer Jackson's problems are only beginning. Get your hands up! Get your hands up! Get out of the vehicle and get your hands up! Suddenly, it all goes wrong. He's got a gun! 51 shots fire! Shots fire! This is the worst case scenario. As the officer goes to arrest the men, the passenger gets out with a gun, shoots at the officer, the officer shoots back, hitting him, and the driver runs. The shooter was sentenced to four years in prison. The driver remains at large. Officer Jackson is still on the job. Minneapolis, Minnesota. A dangerous high-speed pursuit of a fleeing bank robber. The bank robbery party is by himself on from Highway 5 Mountain. As smart as we try to be, as innovative as we try to be, there are some times when these situations will conclude with deadly force. This is a case where the bank robber is believed to be firing at the police. The police decide to shoot out his tires. We want to pull up behind him in a clear spot where he can take his tires out with a shotgun. An officer with a shotgun takes aim behind the fleeing car. Shots fired. Shots fired. Valley Creek Road. Shots fired. I believe the suspect vehicle is smoking. 61. Fire is out. Officers will use deadly force when that moment comes when they realize that they must do it to protect the life of someone else. The driver still refuses to surrender. When all else fails, the officers are ordered to force the vehicle off the road. Buffalo, New York. Like a juggernaut from hell, this 10-cylinder Kenworth truck hurls through the night from Cleveland, Ohio, toward the New York state border. The police can't stop this 550-horsepower Goliath. Do not cook. Be advised. Yo, be advised. Do not try any type of roadblock this guy. Yeah, 10 uh, We're not going to. They desperately radio ahead to the toll booth at the border, because if they can't get the traffic out of the way, it's going to be a bloodbath. We didn't know whatsoever what was wrong with the guy. He was on drugs or just running from the law, but we still had to clear the plaza, get people out of here so we didn't have any injuries. But then a problem they never expected. People still wanted to pay the tolls regardless. They were afraid to break the law if they don't pay the toll. Slower vehicles are hurried through the toll booth as the truck gets closer and closer. And there he comes. Within minutes, the driver loses control of the truck and drives directly into this lake. After many psychiatric examinations, the driver was sent to a local asylum until found competent to stand trial. <laughs> Dooley County, Georgia. This daredevil car thief races across the state line from Florida into Georgia. 
weaving in and out of traffic in a reckless attempt to outsmart the police. He's off the road, the guy's going crazy. He's all over the road. Finally, he outsmarts himself. Watch how he tries to push the cop. Big mistake. Rubber's 1080, 10-4. He's crashed, he's wrecked. He flips over and over, actually rolling into oncoming lanes and landing on his roof. But incredibly, he's uninjured. As he attempts to crawl from the wreckage, the police are on top of him almost instantly. They're not going to give this man any chance to turn this into a foot chase. I want to talk in custody, go for one in custody. Next, on world's scariest police chases, these are the ones that must be stopped. Something snaps. Innocence is threatened. Shots fired, gun fired. For those desperate souls, their moment has come. These are the world's deadliest chases. When the unthinkable becomes reality. The police are storming the bus. When it must stop now, by any means necessary. You've got the world's deadliest chases. One thing is true of most of the police officers I know. When children are in danger, cops will drop everything to respond. Miami, Florida. What could possibly bring dozens and dozens of police cars into one single chase? Kids. Kids in trouble. Okay, we're exiting the freeway now, and we're continuing southbound. On board this bus, 15 children, each one physically handicapped. Also on board, a crazed man who tells the driver he has a gun and a bomb. Okay, back off a little bit, give this guy some room. For 75 long minutes, the police followed, not daring to do anything that would endanger the children. According to our sources, this man has recently been raving about the IRS and his financial situation. The deranged man talks with police on a cell phone. Next to him sits one of the children, placed there as a human shield. OK, it looks like the police unit is blocking the way. OK, wait a minute. It looks like a child has escaped from the bus. Here comes an officer. He's, he's scooped up the child and is taking her to safety. A courageous policeman steps into the line of fire to rescue a terrified child. It looks like the suspect is forcing this bus driver to push the police car out of the way, pushing it aside. A very dangerous situation now getting even worse. The police have no intention of letting this chase continue. OK, the police are storming the bus. They're storming the bus. Rear windows are broken to create a distraction as police marksmen charge in the front. Shots fired, gunfire. We, OK, we've heard shots fired. Seconds later, the critically wounded suspect is pulled from the bus. Thankfully, no one else was injured. The officers move quickly to remove the children from the bus and to make sure they're all right. But thanks to the efforts of well-trained police officers, their nightmare is over. Great Britain. Sirens and smoke fill the air of this quaint neighborhood. A stolen car full of suspects squeezes through the thick traffic of these narrow streets. Unbelievably, the suspects drive right up this busy sidewalk. Frightened pedestrians scramble for cover. Back in the street, the suspects suddenly find themselves blocked in by traffic. What they do next is incredible. They stop, throw it in reverse, and gun it. Accelerating backwards, they're actually able to back over the hood of this officer's car and break through her windshield. Another inch and she would have been killed. As it was, the suspects were only charged with attempted murder. Fort Pierce, Florida. A police chopper tracks a white intrepid. Behind the wheel, a man wanted for drug trafficking and attempted murder of a police officer. This guy's going at least 100 miles an hour, and he's not showing. He's just crashed. The car is rolled over. It's on its back. It's sliding. He's on the roof. He's skidding now, skidding along the road. Unbelievable. It's still skidding. He's still skidding. Coming to a stop now. Coming to a stop now. Trying to change lanes, he miscalculates by inches and slams into the side of the car next to him. Because of the speed he was going, he skids over a 1,000 feet upside down and helpless. When he comes to rest, he's in a world of hurt. Paramedics desperately race against time to try to save this man's life. When he recovers, he may go to prison for a long time. But for right now, this man is glad to get out of that car. Alive. I've been a police officer for 35 years. 
And I can tell you, no police officer wants to be involved in a pursuit because the safety of the officer and the safety of the innocent bystanders. Three days on the road, cranked up on speed and his pedal to the metal. A lunatic in an 18-wheeler races toward Dallas at 105 miles an hour. Yeah, this guy's crazy. Yeah, in pursuit about 80 miles an hour, weaving all over the roadway. Hauling a 13-ton load at over 100 miles an hour, God help anybody who gets in his way. They better pull over, and that means now. It's clear to the officers that no car is safe with this wild trucker coming down the road. Suddenly, the trucker swings his rig to ram the trooper on his right, but the trooper has his shotgun out the window. Driving with one hand and shooting with the other, the officer aims for the wheels. Get out of the way, get out of the way. I shot the tires out. Firing rapidly, he blows out tire after tire. But the 18-wheeler just keeps rolling. And now the officer has to deal with 10-pound slabs of hot rubber flying at his windshield. The officer won't pull back. He's the only one in position to get those tires. They're now just minutes from heavy traffic in Tyler, Texas. Somebody step down eastbound traffic. Step down uh, eastbound. Then another unexpected problem. Can you know unit up here with shotgun? I'm out of shotgun round. I copy 354 is out of shotgun round. Although out of shotgun shells, the officer continues to fire with his 9mm. I can't get front tires up. Finally, another car comes up on the left. This DPS officer risks his life to come within inches of the truck. I'm trying to stop here. Back up. Back up. In another amazing feat of Texas marksmanship, this trooper fires out the passenger side window as he pulls up next to the truck at over 90 miles an hour. At last, they cripple the truck. Yeah, I got the front tire. I got the front tire. The trucker makes one final desperate effort, but he can't control the 13-ton monster with half the tires gone. When they got to the truck, the driver told officers he thought the devil was trying to kill him. After we uh, blew out all the tires on the tractor and the trailer, he did finally run off the road. The driver was charged with aggravated assault. Coming up on world's scariest police chases, tragedy in the heartland, when a man and a woman won't stop for anything. Dispatch, we need an ambulance out here. We have brought you this show for one reason and one reason only, as a warning. Most of us would never think of running from the law, yet every year thousands of people do. They think they can get away. They think they can beat the odds, that they will be the exception. They couldn't be more wrong. It's never worth the risk. Uphill over a double yellow line, through a four-way stop and continuing on the wrong side of the road, the teenage boy and girl in this pickup aren't stopping for anything. In the back of the truck, a stolen lawnmower tractor. 500 extra pounds of momentum. They race down this hill, blow right through a stop sign and careen onto the wrong side of the road. Up ahead, a squad car blocks their way. Pull the vehicle over now. But they're not listening. They're not stopping for anything. They approach an intersection. The light is red. They go for it. Both are killed instantly. This is a wake-up call. To all those who had run from the law, remember what happened at this intersection. The decision to run. A foolish choice that ends in tragedy. It's a terrible lesson that we've seen over and over again. From Thames, England to Tyler, Texas. From country roads to city streets. This isn't a game. This is life and death. Don't run. <laughs>